And so my repair today is to replace the pearls and make this uh, pin as good as new, or almost good as new. Took me a while to form the appropriate replacement pearls. Um, check glass pearls, two millimeter. 25 gauge wire, it's 0.5 millimeter, that I will be using to replace the wire that was uh, originally on the pin. And I've chosen this color rather than the silver simply because I think it'll coordinate better um, with the pin. And I've checked that the pearls fit on the wire. And I can show you is that um, the way they are painted, they're often stuck together. And so you can see on my finger here, here's some of the paint that comes off when you take them off the string. So you want to make sure you get the best pearls. This is a um, fairly straightforward repair. I need to measure about two and a half inches of wire. I'm going to over measure. Now, when I took this apart, I discovered that the way the pearls were installed was that the wire was folded in half at the top and the two ends were um, clamped in the B holder at the back here. So I'm going to attempt to do the same thing. Um, so you can see I'm going to make the, the pearls go up about this far and I'll do that by stringing them on both sides of the wire. The fumble fingers. I'm using um, a Velux beading pad so that the beads won't bounce all over and roll all over the table. And you might be able to see that as I'm stringing some of these on, little flakes of are coming off where the holes are. There's four. As you can see, I have five pearls actually on one side. Uh, I'm going to use one pearl as an end pearl and then have uh, four lower down. So let me try to put the uh, four or five on the other side as well. The nice thing about doing it this way is that you can always add or remove pearls if you find that you um, prefer a slightly different look. One, there's two, four, and uh, I'm going to put uh, six on just to, in case I think I'm going to need it. Actually, I think I'm going to put, let's see, four, what's this going to look like? One at the very end, four there. I think I'm going to need one more on the other side and uh, we'll adjust as needed. There we go. So that should be enough pearls. Now let me get my pliers. I'm just going to move this pearl to the end. Like that. I'm going to clamp it's a little not going quite the way I would like it. So just hang on a second. I'm going to, there we go. That's at the end the way I would like it. Up around that corner there. Now I'm going to move the other pearls up. And I have what now looks like a small um, strand of flowers, I guess you would say. Now here comes the tricky part. I'm going to take the wires and thread them through the metal clasp here in the back. And because the clasp is in the road, or sorry, not the metal clasp, the uh, a wire holder here in the back. And I need to get them. Okay, I'm gonna... So 
So as you can see, I've gone away and I've opened up this channel in the back of the pin. I had to use um, my needle nose pliers to get in there and very carefully move it because the problem with um, metals is that the more you work them, the stiffer they get, um, the more brittle they get, and I don't want this to break. Um, you can see it's a little brighter in some spots where I've uh, managed to um, uh, scratch the metal, so I'll have to clean that up at the end. Um, here's my little uh, pearl flower that goes on the front of the pin, like that. I'll push the twisted wires to the back of the channel. And you can see this is the original. You can see how they were twisted together. So I've used the same technique uh, because I assumed that the maker at the time knew what they were doing. Um, and then I'm going to very carefully, I think I'm going to push this down just so it's bent. There we go. Further down into the channel. And I'm going to very carefully squeeze the channel closed over this. I'm going to have to go away and do it where I can put it close up to my eyes. Um, and then I'll go, okay, so I've, you can see how I've now closed it um, fairly well over that wire. It's a little high up. It's a little straight up, so I'm going to try to um, close it a little better and make it more of a curve. Now that the uh, wire is fully secured in the channel, I can see there's a couple little gaps. So I'm just going to, again, squeeze with my needle nose pliers to bring those edges together. And then to keep the channel rounded, I'm going to press down and flatten it slightly. Okay. That makes everything nicely secure. I've put a few scratches on the back here, so I'll have to make sure that I uh, polish this up when I'm finished, uh, secure the C-clasp, and now here is the pin complete. I think it looks quite lovely and I'm going to be thrilled to wear it. Um, and I hope I can find out some information about its age. Uh, if you have any ideas, please let me know. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you have a great day.